Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here with a new video tutorial for Fortnite and Market of this festive layout that I create with the vintage Aristry Noel. I'm going to show you the paper. These are so beautiful, you can see here. Look how gorgeous is this paper. Love it. And stripes on the back. I'm going to use this paper. I just love all the words on the background. And look this other red oh look the two laser cut i'm going to use this window look all the beautiful things that we have to work today i'm also going to show you the rest of the things the product that i'm going to use like the stamp from the same collection look the ephemera package i will use some pieces look the ribbons are gorgeous i just love this ribbon the quality is very good and i'm all planning to use some stitches not sure yet and finally the six by six the six by six i'm going to cut some pieces but let's get started this is my photo and it is the paper that i select i'm going to uh, prime it with a uh, gesso clear and uh, apply a thin coat of clear gesso now i'm going to let it dry and i'm going to work with this window from the laser cuts i am putting i am adding a uh, 3d font tapes in all the borders to add dimensions and look how it looks at the end i'm planning to play it here but now i'm going to paint a piece of cheesecloth and I'm wet the cheesecloth first and I'm using this gold metallic acrylic paint to uh, paint the, the cheesecloth and I'm going to let it dry. Now I use my tea ruler to line up the window on the background and with a pencil I trace it uh, on the paper. Now I cut some pieces from the 6x6 paper and I'm going to show you now this piece here with the flower that I am planning to uh, put uh, close to the window and other piece here from the Fimera package or the laser cut, sorry. This one is from the laser cuts. And now I want to uh, stamp this Christmas tree. But first I add a uh, tape on this piece here. At this moment, I wasn't planning to use the light. So I am stamping like it doesn't have any lights so i use also the uh the powder the anti-static powder in the areas that i'm stamping the christmas strip and i'm using gold embossing powder here for these trees i've removed the excess of the embossing and now i am melting uh, the the powder with the heat tool Now I'm going to stamp the small Christmas tree close to the big one in this corner. And I'm going to repeat the same step, add the embossing powder, the gold embossing powder and melt the powder here with the heat tool. Once it's ready I, is that I add the texture, I'm using this gold glitter paste by Boboni. And this stencil, uh, I want to add this lovely star on the background i want that the all the stars has this glimmer this magical effect so that is the reason that i'm using glitter this time and i apply the texture in the area that, that i have on, on mine that i'm going to add all the embellishment later i will add at the bottom of the window and in this corner here when i have to plant all the flowers So nice and I'm going to add a liter on the top corner here of the window here in the area that the window will be and, and now I'm going to dry all these textures but <clears throat> everything is dry at this moment I am uh, placing everything and in this moment is that I decided to use the ba the battery operated uh, string lights here to give this illusion after I 
I see this lovely picture of this girl with all the lights around her and I want to create the same effects on the background but I have the uh, battery box here and I'm figure out when I'm going to place now this the battery box and I decided to cover and I take one of the pieces of the ephemera packet to cover the uh, battery box uh, that part this part uh, I, I don't give you any measure here because it depends the light the, that you buy the, but I'm going to show you what I did. It's very easy. I am trying to. It's like a you grab a, a gift, something like that. I am taking my uh, bone folder and making some folds, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I am I'm folding everything, and you can see here. I am trying to uh, wrap around the box, the battery box here with the paper. So other thing that you can do is. Uh, turn around the paper like I did here, cover all the box and with the folder you can uh, uh, make marks in all the folds uh, for the battery. And here is the battery. Uh, I, I want to make this box because in the, I think that this battery longs like, is, I, I read like it's 20, 20 hours long last, something like that. So in the future, you maybe want to, uh, to replace the battery. So you need to put it in a place that you can uh, remove it later. So that is the reason to make this tiny box here to make the battery box. And you can see here all the folds that I made. I am trying to make like a simple um, packaging for this battery box if it makes sense and now uh you see here what i did some cuts to uh to fold all the pieces and make the tiny box now i'm going to adhere this and you can see here it's nothing complicated and i put now the battery box and i'm going to adhere in to this side here but first i'm going to use a replace it, replacement tape something like that because i just want i add a little of tape here just to see how i'm going to ensemble of these pieces and look the like how lovely it looks on the background and one thing that i'm sure that all the cable is going down so in this moment, I decided to start to uh, adhere the lights to the windows. So I take the extreme uh, part of the lights and, and put some uh, hot glue, some dots, not too much hot glue, only some dots in, in the corners and in the middle and start to adhere the wire very close to the 3D font tape, but at the same time that I can see the light through the window. And I did this in the four uh, sides of the square here of the window. And once I have this, at the end, I put uh, the wire between the 3D font tape and you can see here the fit. Now I'm removing all the uh, cover of the tape and add more adhesive here because I'm going to adhere this to the paper. I follow all the pencil marks that I have on the background. And you can see here, I have my window ready. Now I need to work with the rest of the light, but I take one of the laser cuts here, this lace in red and add uh, a piece of cardboard to add dimension on the back. And I want to adhere this on the bottom or, or make a line on the bottom of the window. And this time now I add a piece of cheesecloth in this corner and I'm playing, make some cuts. And I place the, the piece of the laser cut between the cheesecloth. And one of the uh, one part of the cheesecloth, I put it over this piece. I hope that you can see here what I'm doing. And now I am I, I put the wire under the, the laser cuts. Here I add more cheesecloth in the other corner and I'm adhering with hot glue now the rest of the laser cut here, all the red piece. In that way it's more easier now to uh, decide what I'm going to adhere the, 
the rest. Here is the piece of paper. This piece of paper is important because I am I'm going to cover the battery box with it. So I am trying to align it here following the stamp, the tree that I already stamped in, 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 the, in the top. Now I add uh, tacky glue and hot glue to the cover box that I made and I'm going to adhere behind the flower. But if you notice, I left like a half inch of the box out because you need to turn on and turn off the, the lights. Now I, I am playing with the rest of the string lights and I adhered a piece here in the corner of the laser cut and the rest I like I uh, split by half. In other words, I left some lights to the right and some to the left. And the rest I adhere the middle behind the laser cut. And you can see here how lovely it looks. I take this piece from the uh, ephemera packaging and I think it go perfect uh, on the back to cover the rest of the battery box. And I add it here. Now I added uh, hot glue to adhere the rest and I'm going to let it dry uh, a minute and I adhere the rest of the piece here on the bottle to cover the rest of the wire of the lights and that's it. I will let it dry everything. Now that I have, this is the basic, the, the hard part of this layout to, you know, to know how you will put all the light. This is the border of the paper that is, uh, I took the belief word. Now I make a fish tail in each side of this piece because it is my title, belief. And I think it goes perfect with the photo. Now I add a piece of cardboard to adhere the photo and create dimensions. And with the rest of the laser cuts, I will start to embellish my page using the flowers. I have this red flower from 49th Market and you will see in the photo that at the end, I've removed it and I'm using for this layout <clears throat> only the laser cuts that comes in this collection all the flowers, all the pieces, and with that I make all the embellishment, I create all the, the embellishment in this page. I also cut uh, these uh, leaves that you see here, I use a die cut, I think it's by Ranger, to cut some of these uh, green leaves, but I use the 6x6 six six paper from the paper pad to cut the rest of the, of the pieces. Now I'm going to adhere everything and here you, I want to show you the difference the, because I always change uh, th some things. I use the pine cones, I put the Santa, you can see here how I create the dimension. I use these berries, the flowers that I cut from the 6x6 six six paper and some c pine cones from the laser cut and make this composition. And it already looks beautiful. I wish that you can see in person. But and let me <clears throat> but let me explain you. I just love the effect of the photo with the shadow. So I'm going to do the same on the paper using the distress ink T dye. I will use my brush and I will try to make a similar effect on the background. So I am um, <clears throat> removing a little of the excess of the ink because I want to start very smooth and trying to uh, recreate the same things that I'm showing you with my finger here. And I'm, I'm blending the ink on in all the borders here to give this shadow effect on the background. I changed <laughs> the brush to this other that is my uh, <clears throat> my regular brush, I was using the makeup brush and I changed it for uh, this one, my paint brush that is from the Fina Fair one that I love. It, is, is <clears throat> it helps me to blend uh, well the ink on the background. I don't want to make like a spot of ink, I want that it looks very soft, very similar to the photo. Now to smooth 
all the uh, borders look I turn on the lights because I want to add the shadow oh this one <laughs> wasn't uh, adhered yet so I put a little of uh, hot glue and carefully between all the star I add the t uh, the ink to give to create this shadow and depth on the background let me tell you that it gives a huge uh, it moves the page uh, this ink move the page to the next level because it gives in person it, it looks it gives the same uh, feeling of the photo now I take the award from the stamp and stamp rample, randomly here and there with some of the words like peace and joy and put it between all the textures on the background and using archival in black color now i add more texture and i'm adding with 3d gloss gel some uh, art stones i put them some of the over the fabric others on, on direct on the paper and others over over the leaves in that way I create uh, you can see the dimension that this page has so I highlight more the dimension in other words when I apply the art stone in this way and I will add around all this area here now I cover my photo and I'm adding white paint splatters over all this to smooth a little and because I love the texture that it gives to the work And it creates a nice effect over the ink because it's a distress ink. You know that when you add water or paint, it gives this uh, effect on the background. And look how lovely it looks so far. Now I'm going to add a few of, of pearls. I try to put them over uh, very close to the red area and the greens because in that way it's like a boom. I highlight the first looks so lovely and I try to put it now because I don't want to add paint or anything on the pearls and once I add all the pearls I took all the stars red star from the uh, ribbon and I will add some of them of the background a few of them of the background between all the goals it looks so so lovely I just love the quality of these ribbons are great and now you can see here how it looks I just love it it looks so pretty so pretty and it has a lot of dimension that I know is hard to see through the video let me turn on the light look ah oh, it looks so pretty very enchanting very magical it is perfect to put on a frame and I will do it because uh, that is the reason that I want to create a layout in this way that you can see that you can make a lot of things done not only put it uh, on an album okay these stars I use the stencil with the glitter paste and make some star on a white card stud because at the end I, I think that it needs something between all the greens and red so I cut by hand some of the star and, and here here uh, between all these pieces and it is my final step you can see here how lovely it is i turn off some of the lights to uh because i want that you see how it looks in on the dark in the dark and it looks so lovely i already put it on a frame and the reason to create this layout is to inspire you to make a piece like this one and put it on your living room in a table on in the wall and you can share your work i hope that it, this video inspired you and if you like it please bring me a thumbs up i see you soon with other video tutorial nos vemos bye bye